G'day. In today's video, I'm updating this Yoga 530 14 AR. And I'm going to be updating it and putting in a 512 gig MVME drive to replace its older 128 gig one. To get in there, I'm going to be using a T4 screwdriver. That's what this one is. And as we get open it up, I'll let you know where and if any of these screws are in a different length to one another. We're going to need the T4 screw or screwdriver. We're also going to probably need a small Phillips head screwdriver. At least that's what I'm anticipating. So far all these screws are the same length. Top job there Lenovo. Uh, are we going to be the same down the front here? No. I'm expecting the RAM not to be upgraded. I'm expecting the power jack to be replaceable. I'm expecting the SSD to be replaceable. I'm expecting the RAM not to be upgradable, nor the processor or graphics chip, which is very similar to every other laptop model out there. And if we're nearly in there, hopefully with those removed, I'm just going to try and get a nail in here. Into the groove, no. Right up here. Now, being a little bit stubborn, so I'm going to put a metal pry tool in here. You can use a plastic pry tool. I find metal usually a bit more efficient. Okay, that's giving me a start. Now, switch to plastic. And I'm just going to slide this down. Pry up. Pry up. <clears throat> there we go, and we're in. Ooh, and I'm actually a little bit surprised. We'll sit this up here. First of all, I want to disconnect the battery, which is down here. But it looks like this is before they reduced, uh, had the ID pad series where the RAM was soldered on. So I'll just use my nail and pull that down. I get it out of the way there, like that. Looks to me the MVME is here, and we have both the RAM sticks here. All I should be able to do is grab and pull. We have one stick, so we have two sticks. We are running in dual channel. Excellent. What capacity are we? We are just simple. Simple four gig sticks of RAM. So you could up update this with two eights. I wouldn't bother going two thirty twos. Two eights, maybe two sixteens, but if it's Ryzen 3 2200, you're not really gonna be gaining too much more. So I'd probably go 16 gig tops with this. To reinstall the new RAM, we have this notch here, and we have a notch there. I've got to insert the RAM on an angle and then pull down to lock it into position. So if we go on an angle slightly, push it in, you see the gold disappear. Push in all the way, push down, that's now installed. And to put these covers back on, you can see the little little teeth that they need to line up into. So if I line up one side, one side here, one side there, and push. There we go. And I should be able to do the same over here as well. Line it up, push down, there we go. And it looks like we need to use a Phillips head screwdriver over here to undo this shield. So I'll undo this screw here. And what do we do? We lift up. And here we have one little baby NVMe drive. And sadly, it looks like it doesn't support a larger SSD at all. So that is a bit not great. Let's see what we are. We are a PCI Gen 3x2. We are, we can see a model capacity right here. 128 gigabyte. I still reckon I'd be able to put another one in there. I just need to put a shield over there. And I'm gonna be able to let it just rest up against inside of this to hold it down. We're looking at it, and we'll still go in this cover. <coughs> Then there's not much on this side. I want to put some thermal tape. Oh, 
anti-static tape over here. If I put that on there, in here, and push down, it'll just kind of rest there. And with the shield on it, it'll be pushing up. Since mine's got a sticker on it, it's not going to short anything up against here. There is also a bit of plastic on there, but I'd still prefer to cover that. Maybe even with a silicon pad, thermal pad to go over the top of it. But my concern right now is just this bottom bit here. I'll grab some of this, which is thermal tape. Sorry, not thermal tape, anti-static tape. Just so it doesn't short out on, on that when it touches it. Go like this. Put that over the top. Probably get away with just some simple electrical tape. Some stuff like this. Put that in. Next of all, I want to put it here. Similar to the RAM, I'm going to line it up. Push in, push down. And that's mostly going to float there by itself because I'm going to use this to lock it down. It's not perfect. We'll have a little bit of movement. Being this is over the top of it, should stop it from going really anywhere at all. There we go. That there. Actually, not quite right. There, that screw turns out wasn't actually necessary. Let me move it up slightly. It's not quite in the grooves. Line it up down here. There. Now it's good. Then it's got nowhere for it to really go. Even if it does get bumped, it's not really going to move around or carry on or do anything strange. So I'm happy with that. Here's the extra screw out, which is now from the old SSD. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well replace the RAM and give the fan a quick dust blowout. And then after that, this will be getting Windows 11 installed on here. And I may have to tweak this just slightly. No, the system fan does seem to be screwed or well, semi-locking it into position. So I'll take out the system fan as well. And down here we have the Wi-Fi card, which would be replaceable. This should better lift up. I feel like these two screws here are holding it in as well. Uh, what's going on here? Like there's one hidden screw or some tape. Nope. There we go. Okay, loosen that up. Flip it over. I want to clean that thermal paste up there and there. I'm going to do that with some isopropyl alcohol. Here and here. The Ryzen 2000 chips were basically before they started getting decent, but still a perfectly usable computer. Let's give it some love. So I'm just using the tissue, like that. Clean off the old thermal paste. Looks good. Similar over here. This stuff is usually a bit more stubborn on the chip. Especially around it. Depends how far you want to go with cleaning it. Sometimes you do fluke it and get it completely clean, including around the die. Other times, not so much. If you don't want to knock any of those little capacitors off, or else you're probably going to be screwed. There we go. Another little soak. Favorite friend, the toothbrush. There we go. There we go. That'll look good. Just going to use some 
MX4 thermal paste. Nearly on the last of this tube, but just want to make sure I get full coverage on the die as it doesn't have any form of heat spreader. The heat spreader helps send that spread out the heat, where if you don't put thermal paste on it, it simply won't transfer the heat. There we go. Some may say too much. I say it's just fine. Flip this over. Feed the Wi-Fi cable back. I'm going to give it a blowout off camera in just a second. Once I've got this back into position. Here go four three two one right there go a few screws to go back in for the fan off camera one two three let's feed these back through and next up from here I want to connect that battery back up and then I'm going to be happy just to reseal this up once more line the battery up here pull it in there we go it's going to put the back cover back on and all those screws in. Actually, one thing I will do since it's a few years old, just check the hinges. They do wiggle loose over time, especially on Lenovo's and Aces. There we go, I'm happy with that now. Put this back on and then put all the T4 screws back in, of which they are all of the same length and size. So that should be fine. There we go. Hope that helps with your upgrade of your Lenovo Yoga 530. I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.